So the die hard battery from this jump starter died and I didn't really want to buy another one because this is like fifty dollars and they don't really last too long and when they ship this sometimes the batteries can get damaged so it's a shame to throw this away because it still has a lot of uh, uses what I'm doing now is uh, I'm using some of these power packs that I have these are like 20 amps so I can like take one one of them so I can take one of these batteries and plug it into my jump starter I made a couple of uh, XT60 connectors so each can handle about 20 amps so two together I can have 40 amps output this battery is uh, 22 amp hours so if I connect two of these batteries I would have 40 amp hours the compressor still runs the inverter and the inflator So now I have two batteries attached with a total of 40 amp hour. So if I want to inflate a couple of tires, I wouldn't run out of uh, battery power. Yeah, I think this is going to work out well, I have a pair of XT60 connectors that I passed through the back of the jump starter and this is the negative and the positive and you can see the wires to the inverters pretty thick gauge and also to the jump start which I probably won't use so I tighten everything and I'm going to wrap it up so that you won't get uh, short circuited. So while this jump starter is not a new generation solar generator, it does have a lot of useful features. It